I'm Michael. Uh, today we're here to perform the SWP on the heater. So I'm going to begin by asking the client uh, that well, first, my name is Damien, I'm from Breakwell Electrical. I'm here to perform the disconnection of your heater. Could you please advise me if there's any uh, central services that can't be turned off and the location of the heater in this report? No, the location is correct and uh, it, nothing needs to go off. Everything's cool. Alright, perfect. Alright, let's begin. So I'm first going to begin by writing out my four danger tags. So the five details on the danger tags, which is your full name, company, date, contact number, and signature. So I'll just put that over there. Next, we're going to do two things, and that's write down the details of the appliance, ensuring you don't touch it. And a good tip is to make sure when disconnecting and reconnecting the heater is to ensure that you're right now to say switch on during the testing stage of the connection. Now we're going to go around to the switchboard and just write down uh, the main switch, breakers, amperage ratings. Take note of all that. Alright, perfect. We're first going to begin by putting our gloves on. So we have three layers of gloves. We have our inners, which are optional. We have our insulated gloves, which we first have to test before putting them on. So we first of all make sure there's no roots or tears. Do a visual inspection. Uh, roll them up. Here for any leaks, test between the fingers, make sure again there's no holes or tears. That looks alright. That's also alright. And we've got our final layer on, which is our powder gloves. Again, make sure you don't touch the frame of the appliance. So we have voltage at the live source, uh, the node source. So now we can test it on the frame. Make sure you check two points. We have no voltage. Retest the meter. So the meter does work, so that's good. And make sure that there is no voltage at the frame. Now get your IR tester set up to the 3 ohm scale. Zero that out, and that looks great. So we're going to test that from the known live earth source to two points of the frame. And that is 0.5 of an ohm, which is a pass. So anything that is 0.5 of an ohm or equal to or less is a pass. So we've now established that the frame is safe to touch. But first we're going to Put a danger tag on both the frame and the isolator.
and now that's done, I'm going to uh, ask the customer if it's okay to turn the power off. Yep, okay. Perfect, now let's go do that. I did forget one step at the start. Just make sure that we put a bench tag on the main switchboard. Let's make sure the lock top is on. Put a lock and the bench tape. Before we do anything, just make sure you test the meter again and test it from the no no to the frame. It's working. Make sure you check two points. No voltage. Retest the meter. from the known earth to the three terminals to the active, neutral and earth. So there's no voltage, we're going to retest the meter. Well, actually, we'll redo that test again because I removed the earth from the known source. So we tested the meter, active, neutral, earth, no voltage, retest the meter. And we go between the conductors, active to neutral, active to earth. Neutral to earth, no voltage. Retest the meter one more time. That's now working, that's good. And now we can disconnect the conductors, making sure we disconnect the earth last. So you have two choices, the notes that you took at the start can be placed inside the junction box or you can keep those on you for the reconnection stage. So I'm going to keep those on me for the reconnection stage, so I'll close this up. You can close up the appliance, remove the danger tag from the appliance and place it on the junction box. Safe. The appliance is disconnected. Make sure the side is cleaned up. And now I should advise the client that the heater is being disconnected safely. Uh, just notify me when it's ready. Notify me when it's ready to be reconnected. Okay. Right, stop that now.